Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about inverse and cyclic permutations. In our last class, we clearly discussed about permutation function. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, it is very, very easy to understand if you have the basics about in our previous classes. Now take an inverse permutation. What do you mean as inverse permutation? Given a permutation P, if you take a permutation P, there exists a permutation P inverse. Definitely you are going to have a permutation P inverse such that it has to satisfy the condition P composition P inverse equal to P inverse composition P equal to I. I means identity permutation. Identity permutation means I ma one maps to one, two maps to two, three maps to three, four maps to four, five maps to five. This is what we call it as identity permutation. If it satisfies this property, then we say P inverse is inverse of P. With example, you are going to understand it better. Let's take P is equal to, this is a permutation, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1. So for this P, we are going to have a P inverse. Which one we call it as P inverse? This we call it as P inverse. Because, see, P composition P inverse, you should get a identity permutation. 1, 2, 2, 1. What is composition? 1, 1. 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, you are going to get 3, 3, 4, 1, 1, 4, you are going to get 4, 4, you are going to get identity permutation, P composition, P inverse, you are going to get identity permutation. So, this permutation, we call it as P inverse for P. Similarly, you try to check for P inverse composition P is equal to identity permutation. So this is what we call it as inverse of a permutation, inverse of a permutation. Now coming to the next concept, you need to understand cyclic permutation. A permutation that replaces n objects cyclically is called cyclic or circular permutation. You take a permutation in that if it is going to replace n objects cyclically. What do you mean that? What that cyclically means? With example, we are going to understand it better. Let's take P is equal to 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 1. In this, we are forming a cycle. 1 mapping to 3, 3 mapping to 4, 4 mapping to 5, 5 mapping to 1. Means again, it got up to 1. All these elements forming a cycle. 1, 3, 4, 5 again 5 mapping to 1 <coughs> so it, this is what cyclic permutation so this permutation can be mentioned like this 1 3 4 5 from this you need to understand this is the way you represent the cyclic permutation 1 mapping to 3 3 mapping to 4 4 mapping to 5 5 mapping to 1 no need to mention 2 because it is 2 mapping to 2 only So this is how we write here 2 is fixed, 2 mapping to 2, so no need to write here. Now coming to the next example for better understanding, take this permutation, identify the cycles in it, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 1, again starting, it is forming a cycle, this can be represented as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly 6 mapping to 6, 7 mapping to 7, 8, 9, 9, 8. So, 8, 9 is one cycle, 8 mapping to 9, 9 mapping to 8 again, it is forming a cycle. So, this permutation can be re, uh, represented like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. This 6 mapping to 6, 7 mapping to 7, no need to show it in the cyclic permutation. Now we need to understand a concept called a cycle, we are mentioning the cyclic, uh, cyclic elements in the form of this. A cycle of length 2 is called transposition. See here, what? how many elements are there in this cycle? Two elements. This we call it as a transposition. So, any cyclic representation can be mentioned in the form of transpositions. How we, how we are going to show that in transposition? Let's try to understand with an example. 
Let's take a permutation P 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 3, 5, 4, 1, 5, 3. So this can be written as 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 1. So this is one cycle. 3, 5, 5, 3. This is another cycle. So this can be here. How many elements are there? Two elements are there. So it is a transposition. This is also we can mention this in the form of transposition. How we are going to mention it? 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 4. This is how we write uh, this more than two elements. We can convert that into transposition. 1, 2, 1, 4. So now, now you need to understand uh, what is meant by even permutation. A permutation that can be expressed as the product of even number of transpositions. If you show the permutation in the form of a even number of transpositions, then we say it as even permutation. You will get clarity with example. Example P is equal to 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 1, 5, 5. 3, 5, uh, 3, 3, 5, 5. This can be shown as 1, 2, 4 in cyclic permutation. Uh, writing it as transpositions means 1, 2, 1, 4. So how many transpositions, product of how many transpositions? Two transpositions means even, even number of transpositions. So we call this as even permutation. Similarly, odd permutation, product of, if you show the permutation in the form of product of odd transpositions, then we say it as odd permutation. Let's take this example, P is equal to 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 1, 4, 2. This can be written as a 1, 4, 4, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1. All the elements involved in the cycle. 1, 4, 3, 2. This can be written in the form of transpositions. 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 3. So how many number of uh, transpositions are there? Odd number of transpositions are there. Three number of transpositions are there. So this can be, this is an odd permutation. We do one more example on even and odd permutations. Uh, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 7, 4, 8, 5, 6, 6, 1, 7, 4, 8, 3. This can be written as a 1, 2, 2, 5, 5, 6, 6, 1. This is one cycle. 3, 7, 7, 4, 4, 8, 8, 3. This is another cycle. So, two cycles we have written as. Convert them into transpositions. 1, 2, 1, 5, 1, 6, 3, 7, 3, 4, 3, 8. How many transpositions are there? Even number of transpositions are there. Six transpositions are there. So we mentioned this permutation in the even number of transpositions. So we call this as a even permutation. So these are the basics you need to understand in the permutations of functions. Hope you understand this permutations of functions concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.